Good morning everyone, it's a beautiful day in Sheffield today and we are making some wheel arch boxes. So here is one that I made yesterday, we just need to put some sides and a top on it. And here is one that I tried to make the other day that is broke. Basically this wood was way too thin and I just couldn't screw properly, whereas this one is spot on. So the plan today is to build a lid for the one that I've already made, then make a second one and put a lid on that as well. I've never used a hinge in my life, so I'm hoping that I get it first time. So this box was 34 by 34 mil um, timber. I'm going 12 mil ply on the top and like five mil on the sides. And then I'm gonna put some insulation here here on the top and on the side and this should push up nicely against my wheel arch here's the choice of tools we have a jigsaw drill and a sander this was five pound from a car boot so i think the plan is start measuring up the sides of these boxes first i'm going to try and get this one finished before i make a move on the second one because the weather's just changed, it was sunny, and now it's spitting. So I'm gonna crack on, measure these panels up, and try and get them on. So here's the five mil ply, and this is gonna do the sides and the front. My only issue is, I'm really bad at woodwork, so I can't really cut straight lines. Don't understand it. Don't know how people can just get a jigsaw and cut a straight line. So I'm trying to find ways around that. So we're lined up, we're clamped down, we're going for the first panel. So we've cut out everything now. Well, not everything, not the thick top bit yet. And it looks like they're going to fit quite nicely. So I'm just going to screw these in, see how it holds up, and then start measuring the thick bit out and planning on how I'm gonna put on the hinge. So I'm just using like the tiniest screws to get this ply in. Um, I'm just gonna use a lot of them, just down the beams and hopefully that'll do the job. Well, here we have it so far. It's looking quite good for me. Sturdy little bit off on the corners and there is diabolical but once that's trimmed down we're gonna have a lid on the top these bits are gonna be insulated and we've got a cool box i'm gonna go and grab some lunch and then hopefully get on the big box the, the lid so just had a lovely lunch nice steak fajita wrap very nice and we should come back out cut the wood for the lid and I'm hoping that it is as simple as draw that in draw that in and then drill it to the back and this will then open so I've got a couple of uh, screws in on both just loosely um, just on the, on the basis that I don't know what I'm doing and it might be tits up but it looks like it should work in theory for anyone looking at this and thinking it's a shoddy job by the way I don't care I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to wood, and I'm really proud of this. We have a relatively functional box. It looks crap, and it is a bit crap, <laughs> but I made it, and I love it. Look at this. It definitely needs a bit more support here, so I'm going to try maybe get like a, a corner thing because this because it's so heavy twists the nail um, I don't have the brackets with me now but I think I'm just gonna do like a, a right angle bracket here just to re-support this because um, it's taking a lot of weight with a 12 mil ply on top I am well impressed though very happy with this for, for those wondering what happened at the end of this video the box fits perfectly fine 
but we're now like a month, two months down the line since I shot that video and I've just not had time to edit it. Um, since then, we have a floor and we have a bed and we have a window. Wow, yeah, wow. The van has come on so much. So in the next week or two, I'm just gonna bash out all four or five videos and it's taken it to a whole new level. Like this box was cool. I've come on since then. The van's come on since then. I can't wait to show you.